Hey, boy, look at you. Outdoors. Outdoors with Buck and Moose. That's right, with Buck and Moose. And today, what do we got? Do we have the Air Max Crate X? Don't play with that. Don't play with that. We've yeah. topped it with I the... I call it by Flame Wolf. That's right, Flame Wolf. We've got the Discovery Optics. This yeah. is their 5 to 30 model. We've got our Accutech bipod, our Impulse Air Moderator, and Buck is shooting the Buffalo at 50 yards, right? Yeah, I, I got two. That's right. Well, we're going to shoot some more. Let's go ahead. Go ahead and start shooting. Okay. It's already cocked. It's already cocked, yes. Okay. Go ahead and pick your gun up. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Go ahead and get on your Buffalo. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead. Wait. Go ahead. There it is. Go ahead, cock your gun. Cock your gun. Okay. Alright, go ahead. Don't touch the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Get on your buffalo. Wait. Go ahead. Nice. Go ahead, cock the gun. Okay. Oh. Don't touch the trigger. We're still learning. That's okay. You're doing a great job, dude. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. It's it's new getting used to a scope, isn't it? We might have to get some lower scope rings. Go ahead. Oh, just pass it. Go ahead, cock the gun. You're okay. You're doing a great job, dude. Yeah, it's catching your jacket, isn't it? Nice. Here, you want to take your jacket off? Yeah. Yeah, let's take your jacket off and then it'll be easier because it won't be in your way. You wear your Under Armour shirt. There you, you go. you like my shirt? I like your shirt. It's Under Armour. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. I don't know if you cocked the gun, but let's see what happens. Nope, you got to cock your gun. Oh, I've got it. That's okay. You're doing fine, dude. Good job. Keep your finger off the trigger. Good job. Do another one. Shoot. Yeah. Go ahead, cock your gun. Well, it's a great shot. Go ahead, keep shooting. Yeah. The Accutech bipod really is the pinnacle of helping him to shoot with its ability to pan. Um, you know, it makes it easier because these guns are heavy for him. Um, you know, but we tried to get it to where it's the best, um, kind of ne neutral point. Nice shooting. Keep going. Um, the best neutral point in the gun so that it's easy for him to hold up and kind of rest on that, that AccuTag. Um, but the ability, like I said, to pan that thing is just absolutely amazing. Do you need to take a second? Yeah. Get your eyes better? All right, go ahead whenever you're ready. Keep your finger off the trigger till you're ready to pull it. Sometimes it's easier to use this hand. Here, let me show you something. Here, let's go ahead and get up on both knees. There you go. You need the bag? Okay, hold on. Stay right there. You want the bag to help you hold it up a little bit? Yeah. There you go. There, see if you can get behind that. Do you need to push the gun forward a little bit? Does that help? Yeah. There you go. Oh. Is that much better? Yeah, it is. Go ahead, cock your gun. Okay. 
Um, but, you know, we tried to get it in the, the most neutral point where the gun kind of wants to go either way. Um, can you see the groundhog? What? Are you shooting the 75-yard targets? <laughs> what? <laughs> you cheeky monkey. Let's stick with the buffalo and the groundhog. I don't have the camera down the 75-yarders, but good for you. You shoot whatever you want, man. Just have fun. Do you want to shoot the bear? I don't want to shoot the turkey. Okay, the turkeys. The camera's probably not going to pick them up, but... Whoa, that one ricocheted. Go ahead, cock your gun. Yeah. Ooh, let's go back it. to the... Let's try to hit that groundhog. Okay. See that one standing up right there? The one that's... You shot these first three, the next one over. Okay. See if you can shoot that groundhog standing up right there at the 50-yard line. It doesn't look like it. What do you mean? It doesn't look like it. Can you see him? No. Oh, you just missed. Try again. Dude, that was close. You went right next to him. Great job. Boy, I'll tell you, it too. It almost hit the arm buffalo. The uh, Air Max crate um, with its collapsible, um, adjustable length of pull really gives him a great uh, length of pull, which is awesome because it was difficult to try to figure out what gun we were going to put him on. Um, dude, you're shooting the 75 yards again. What are you doing? You cheeky monkey. <laughs> Shoot that groundhog. Shoot that groundhog. Okay. You got to cock your gun. I'm good. But uh, believe it or not, the, the uh, ease of cocking, I mean, he's six. So, you know, we're definitely trying to, um, you know, get him tuned in. We are shooting the ARG slug. Nice shot, dude. <laughs> Keep going. I hit the turkey. Yeah, you did. Keep shooting, man. We can hear the steel ringing. Go ahead. Um, I've got it tethered just so, you know, we don't have to stop. You got to cock your gun, buddy. You got to cock the gun. Oh, I've got it. Yeah, it's okay. You'll remember when you pull the trigger and nothing happens. Um, you know, we were shooting the Zons, and we're going to still shoot Zon, but uh, ARG sent these slugs to us to test out, and honestly, they're doing really well. These are really good slugs, in my opinion. Um, you know, we're going to shoot the Zons for sure. Uh, no matter what gun he ends up in, we're, we're looking for the uh, Day State Red Wolf to get done. Uh, we spoke with PRS over in England, and um, they're going to go ahead and, here, hold on, leave it back. I think you're out. Yep. Yep. There you go. New Meg, go ahead. Um, and uh, they were kind enough to uh, tell us they're going to send us a chassis, so thank you, Gab, from PRS. Um, you know, we're looking forward to putting his uh, little day state uh, 177. I just hit the sand. Yeah, you did. Shoot at the monkey. buffalo again. Shoot at the buffalo. Here, let me move this over a little bit. It'll make it easier for you to acquire the target. Um, but, uh, so we're really looking forward to that because I think that gun's going to be the best setup for him um, in the 177. You... And that's turkey. Again. Okay, try to go for the buffalo, please, son. Um, because we got, uh, the other, we got the other camera recording down there showing the buffalo shots. Oh. Uh. Sorry. That's okay. You're doing Sorry, fine. Sorry, camera. You're all right. Just don't shoot the camera. Um, <laughs> he he shoot won't. The I've camera. got the GoPro set way off to the side. Um, but uh, Accutech, um, awesome. Thank you for the bipod. This is not the one that they sent for him. This is mine. Um, the one that got oh, sent to us. Be, no, you didn't. It was already cut. See? You don't want to double load it. You're good. <laughs> I'm sure that we'll have a jam once in a while, but uh, either way, we're having a lot of fun. Great shot. Do it again. Shoot another buffalo. Um, and then, you know, we've got some stuff coming from Eagle Vision. Thanks to uh, them for uh, sponsoring this six-year-old. Great shot. Do it again, buddy. And, um, you know, obviously, um, you know, we've got a good optic to put on top as well. So we're really looking forward to there you go, man. You're ringing it like crazy. Um, you know, this is actually the first time that he has actually shot with a scope as well. 
Um, so it's all new. Um, you know, finding the crosshairs, I've got it dialed all the way down to five power. Um, so that it just makes his field of view easier because it, it's easier for him to figure out where the targets are to move. Um, you know, we'll slowly start moving them up eventually. Um, but right now, you know, I'm good with the five power. He's, his little eyes are no problem to see the crosshairs. Did you just shoot a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. Um, the chickens are at 25 yards. Um, you got to cock your gun again. Um, but either way, so there you have it. The Crate X, 22 caliber. And the Flame Wolf. Yeah, his name's Flame Wolf. I think that's yeah, what we're going to his name Flame Wolf. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know, what a riot, man. If you guys aren't spending some time with your kids out in the woods, <laughs> um, you really should. Um, I or even, should it again. Yeah, or even out at the range. Good job, buddy. Um, you know, this is a great opportunity to teach your kids some some respect and some you know some discipline um you know he understands how the range works and um you know the fact that um here it'll make it clearer if i move this down to 25 yards there now your picture will look clear does that look clear should um but this is a great way to teach them about you know the uh, importance of not only um, responsibility but gun safety right he's now grasping the concept that when he pulls that trigger something happens and um, you know we certainly want him to be safe and uh, that's why we're out here at this public ra or private range sorry not a public range and um, you know cool. having a good time take a break if you're getting tired it's okay here just move your bag underneath there there you go you know, I could probably move this up, too, if you want. We'll do that in a second here. But uh, either way, hey, what do we say at the end of our videos, Buck? God bless. Hey, look, look. Tell everybody. God bless. And what else? Like, subscribe to your channel. Like and subscribe to our channel. We Bye. definitely appreciate it. And uh, take care, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, as Buck said, God bless you.